Hello, and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today, we are gonna be painting short, shiny black fur, like that you would maybe find on, say, the forehead of a cute black puppy, like you're gonna see here. Want to skyrocket your skill when it comes to painting those beautiful, realistic animals that you've always dreamed of? Then the Wildlife Painting Academy is the secret weapon that you've been waiting for. Powerful, real-time tutorials, paint mixing, coaching, and so much more is waiting for you inside the Wildlife Painting Academy. Join us in the link of the description of this video. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by lightly sketching in where the different features are gonna go using a pencil here on canvas that I have taped to a hard surface. I always start by using some sort of colored base. So here I am just doing a wash of very diluted acrylic paint so that I'm not painting on just plain white. I'm starting off by establishing my darkest points of my painting. So here, because I'm using, I'm painting black fur, I'm using a very, very dark color. Um, it is not purely black. I do have some blue and brown in there as well. And using a relatively large brush so that you can cover large areas. Here I'm going in with a lighter tone, so gonna to be that kind of middle color, not quite the highlight, but in the middle. And I'm going and blocking that into the areas that are not quite the darkest points, but also not your brightest shadows, or brightest highlights, sorry. <laughs> Now an even lighter shade here, I'm going in and blocking in where those highlights are gonna go. We're gonna put more bright highlights on top after, don't worry. I always like to go in while the paint is still wet and using a dry brush, doesn't really matter what it is, blend out those strokes so that it resembles fur a little bit more. Now we're gonna start with some fur details. So using a lighter color and a fine brush, I'm gonna start stroking in those individual hairs into the paint to start to build up that beautiful fur texture that we're looking for. I want the highlights to pop even more, so I'm going in with more titanium white and giving that nice bright pop of the highlight. Now is one of my favorite parts, glazing. 
So you want to make sure your painting below is completely dry and then using some glazing medium we are going to add a little bit of color just give everything a little bit of oomph. So I'm going in with a slightly blue toned glaze here because black fur tends to reflect a lot of the environment which for instance if you are painting an animal that is outside it's often going to be reflecting the sky. It also just gives a really rich sort of tone here. I love this technique. Because the glaze kind of took down some of those highlights, I'm going back in with more titanium white and a fine brush and adding that final pop. I'm then going to blend out those brush strokes after so they look nice and natural. And now I go back and forth adding random little highlights and details here and there. I find that this last step really adds a lot of realism to the painting. And you're done! So if you're like me and you taped your painting to a surface, you now get to have that super satisfying thing of peeling off that tape to reveal those nice crisp edges. All right, so as you can see here, we are all done. Look at that beautiful fur. It looks so good, so shiny and soft. And the nice thing is, is that it's super easy to do, so anyone can do it. Now, if this tutorial was a little too quick for you, then I would love to invite you inside of the Wildlife Painting Academy. This is my membership where I go into huge detail on how to paint a ton of different uh, realistic animal subjects. So if you really want to skyrocket your skill, check out the link in the description of this video. Stay magical, friends. I'll see you next time.